In the Pasha of Chukas, the Torah begins with the following Pasuk. Zos Chukas HaTorah Ashetziva Hashem Leymar. And then the Torah presents the Dinim of Paraduma that we're quite familiar with. There's a very striking Targum and that Pasuk, Zos Chukas HaTorah. The Targum translates, Doig Zeira Daraisa. This is the divine dictum. And then the Torah goes on to present the Chok of the Paraduma. The chukah aspect of paraduma lies in its incomprehensibility and all the preparatory aspects to it. Plus, another great paradox inherent in it is, of course, that the paraduma is metayer es atzmeim. It purifies those that are impure, and it's metami es atzahorim. It defiles those that are tzahar. My Rebbe Yassalavetzi Zereni Nebracha often suggested that the chukah here is not merely in the performance of the ritual, but rather lies, he said, in the mind-defying mystery of death itself. Death, the Torah says, is mitame, defiles. Contact with it disqualifies us from entering the Besavikdash. Death is a fate that awaits all of us. It undoes all of man's planning, all of their dreams, all of their hopes. Death, according to the Zohar, essentially, deprives the Jew of their tzalem alokim, of their godly soul. What remains is the lowly guf, the body. That death is the real chukah seems to be intimated by the phraseology of the text. The pasuk that introduces the paraduma opens with the words, Zos chukas Torah. What is that chok? And a little bit later, in pasuk Yudalad, Torah says, Zos HaTorah, Adam Kiyamas Tvahoel. This is the law when a man dies. And knows what is the chukah? The chukah is death itself. And my Rebbe explained how Salavetsi is the Bracha. Why is it that Tumas Mes, the death of a human being, the snuffing out of a Tzalem Elohim, is not found in the Torah with all the other forms of Tuma, be it Sheretz or Zav or Nevelo or Tzaras? The answer is there's a radical distinction between the two types of Tuma. All other forms of Tuma have one common denominator. One is exposed to depressing, ugly experiences that are aesthetically jarring. The focus is on the aesthetic element. However, in Tumas Metz, it's much, much more than that. It's not simply the cessation of the functioning of the organism, but rather there's a spiritual personality, a ruchniistic being, a spiritual being that's been terminated. A person, as I said a moment ago, who had visions, hopes, joy and despair, Want to look to the future, remember the past, shape the present, the life has been snuffed out. A bono alamos. And therefore, Tumas Mes represents not simply aesthetic ugliness, as other tumults in effect can be referred to, but represents much more than that. It's existential ugliness. Aesthetic ugliness can be washed away by tefillah and a mikvah, Tumas Mes cannot be removed by tefillah. How do we come to terms with it? So the Torah says, Hazor, besides the tefillah, sprinkling the ashes of the paraduma is required. And whom is the real cleanser? The Hiza, Torah, Latome, says the Medrash, the Almighty Himself, the Rebbeinu Shalom, Bechvadu We have to have a Muna, faith that Hashem compassionately cares about us, He won't abandon us. We accept intellectually and emotionally that the Neshav of a person is immortal, and death is a transition, not a termination. The Navi Yishayahu assured us in the end of the days, Hashem will undo death, so to speak. So the ultimate purifier is the Ibn Shalom from Tumas Mes. And the totally incomprehensible ritual paraduma suggests that human effort to comprehend death and lessen its dread are really futile without accepting the basic concept of a providential God. And let's just conclude by mentioning why this chapter of Paraduma found in Pasha's Chukas. What's the connection? The Parak of Paraduma is a bridge spanning events that happened 38 years apart from the rebellion of Korach until Klal Yisrael reached Midbar Sin. The rebellion of Korach took place in the second year of the exodus from Mitzrayim
For 38 years, the Torah speaks of a Hester Panim. Hashem turned away from Kal Yisrael. We moved about aimlessly in some sort of a circular fashion without any particular destination. It was a long, silent night without communication between Hashem and Moshe Rabbeinu. And Rashi comments in Dvar, and Rashi says, Shekola min cheshona, shehoyu Yisrael nezufim, lo nisiach inimo adibur l'shon chiba, panim el panim b'yishu vadas. The period of Hester Panim is like the Paraduma, a chukah, a divine degree. Zui gzeru daraisa. Just like this is beyond human comprehension, so too that's also beyond human comprehension. And the symbol of that mournful period is Paraduma. And that's the connection why Dafka, the Pasha of Paraduma, was placed in the context of the Pasha of Chukas, as not found with the other Tumos. It's markedly different. However, Hashem is the ultimate purifier. Chazal did not try to rationalize the Chalka Paraduma, as Chazal say, Chukahim Milfanai, Eilucha Vashus There are certain areas that are called Chukim, that man has to suspend his judgment and accept the inscrutable judgment of the Rebbe Shalom.